that what I want to use the remaining uh, slightly more than two hours for is um, for final exam review. And it'll be really a review of topics. That's, uh, um, that's really what it is. Um, so um, we, we cover everything in the final exam from chapters 1 through 11, accepting chapter 9 and accepting any other sections we skipped. Um, so the idea is the final exam isn't supposed to bring in any new material. Any material that's supposed to be covered there, we cover the exams one through three. And oh, one of the announcements that when I was, uh, I never got around to posting the one additional set that I want you to post, so that won't be on yet. So Brock scattering, even though we talked about it, it'll, you won't ever be tested on yet. When you need to know it, you'll review it. <laughs> so. Okay, any other questions, comments? So um, I think, hmm, we might run out of time before. But uh, well, um, so these are the main areas we covered throughout this semester. You will see that some of the orders have changed. So uh, when we were covering the topics, we actually went from um, optics, to special relativity, quantum mechanics, and nuclear and particle physics. And I think that's actually the proper order to cover them in, because when you are going, when we are going through quantum mechanics, there are things like a Compton scattering that unless you have covered the special relativity, you can bring it in. And after you've covered the special relativity, like it's too late. So, um, so I think the order we covered it is proper order. But now that you know everything, the order in which in your mind they should be grouped is actually different. Quantum mechanics is really more, most naturally grouped with optics. Because what we talk about in physical optics, diffraction, interference, that really ties into wave nature of particles covered in quantum mechanics. So now that you know, you know, lay, now that you have the lay of the land, the better way to go is, you know, optics goes with the quantum mechanics. And now that you have the lay of the land, really the special relativity goes more properly with the nuclear and particle physics. Because that's where you actually use the idea that there's an equivalence of some sort between mass and energy. Or that when something is a mass, it has some, something called rest energy that got introduced in special relativity, now that you know here. And there are interactions, particle decays, collisions in particle physics that um, that are relativistic, and you have to use the relativistically correct formulas. So, um, so that's what this uh, order represents. And I thought uh, two hours or you know two and a half hours, we would have enough time to um, kind of go over everything, um, point out any important um, formulas that you should know. Um, I guess I haven't actually had something planned. <laughs> so it'll be a question of how much I can remember. Um, now, one thing I will say is that I'm positive that I cannot fit everything onto the one set of board. So I think what I'm going to try to do is uh, fit in everything that's important for optics and quantum mechanics into one kind of layout of the board from here to here, and then we'll take a break, and then we'll come back for the rest. <laughs>